Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to service a SIBO Automatic X1.1 vacuum cleaner although if you've got a SIBO X4 cleaner most of what I'm going to show you in this video should apply to your X4 series as well because the components are virtually the same. Now I've been given this machine to service, the owner was going to buy a new vacuum cleaner but there's absolutely nothing wrong with this SIBO, the motor is still fine, the automatic height control works fine, all it needs is a bit of a clean up and some new parts fitted. The hose on this machine is a little bit distorted and I think it's got a small hole in it, so I've obtained a new genuine SIBO hose that I'll be fitting as soon as I've cleaned up everything else on this vacuum. It also needs a new exhaust filter, so I'll be fitting that. I've also got a hygiene micro filter, that's the pre-motor filter, I'll be fitting a new one of those. Of course I'll be putting a new bag in as well. And finally, I'm going to be fitting a new brush roll. So before fitting all the new parts, I'm going to give this SIBO a good clean. First thing I'm going to do is remove the old brush roll. All I have to do is press down on the button here and remove the end cap, which might be a little bit stiff. There we go. And then I can slide out the old brush roller. It's still got some life in it, but I think it will benefit from a new brush roll. At this stage, this is a time when you can actually clean the brush roll with it out. Obviously, as you can see, it could do with a bit of a clean, but I'm just going to fit a nice new brush roll. So that's going to come out. Also going to remove the exhaust filter, which has become quite black with carbon dust. So as you can see, that needs replacing. I'm going to replace that with a nice new one. Inside the dust bag housing, let's remove the very full bag. We've got this filter here, which just pulls out. And as you can see, that's quite dirty, so I'm going to replace that with a brand new filter. So I can give the bag compartment a thorough clean. I'm going to remove it from the motor unit by pressing this grey button here. If you've got a different coloured SIBO, this button might be orange or yellow. So I'll press that, just put my knee on the base and jiggle it about until it's released. So now we've got easier access to the motor unit here, the cleaner head. All I'm going to do with this is just give it a good clean. I have noticed actually, and this is a part I haven't got but you can buy them, the little strip that should be at the back here is completely worn away. There's a little strip. Now that I think comes sometimes in the service box. The parts I've shown you, the motor filter, the pre-motor filter and the post-motor filter is available in a service box which also includes the dust bags. In some cases you also get the little sealing strip that slides in at the back. This is obviously completely worn away on this model. All I'm going to do with this is remove these two screws or possibly three actually to remove this base plate so I've got a bit more access into this area here and I'm going to give that a good clean. I'm not going to wet it, you mustn't wet the uh, machine, I'm just going to use a damp cloth, make sure it's thoroughly dry. Everything will be wiped down so it looks a little bit better. And some bits have fallen out there. Also I'm going to give the housing here a good clean. To make it easier to clean the bag compartment I'm going to remove the handle and the wand and the hose. So to remove the wand obviously just pull it away from the machine and to remove the hose there are two areas you need to squeeze on either side of the hose connector. So squeeze those together and the hose comes away and then we can remove the hose from the wand. You need to press this little catch here. So this is going to be replaced. It's obviously got a little bit distorted I don't think there's a hole in it, but it'll look better when it's replaced anyway. So I've got the genuine silver colour they are now to replace that. So that I'm going to discard that, there's no need to keep that. And this wand just needs a bit of a clean. 
to remove the handle, there's a little locking um, thingamajig here. I don't know what you'd call it. Anyway, it's a little lever, so it says open and closed on it. It's a little bit dirty, I'm not sure if you can see. It's uppermost when it's in the closed position. So to release the handle, we just need to turn it to the open position. Now I can pull the handle out. At this stage, if you need to replace the flex on a SIBO, SIBO actually sell the complete handle unit with the 10 meter cable and plug attached. It's the easiest way of doing it. It's the most expensive way of replacing the flex. I believe a new handle and flex costs around 40 pounds. It is possible, and I think this one has been replaced, you can replace the flex by undoing this handle here. I'm not sure how you get into it actually, looking at it, but it has been replaced on this machine. But if you're not sure about how to do that, as I said, the easiest way is just to buy the whole handle unit and it just slots in in place of the old one. So I'm taking that off. So now I've got this unit which can be cleaned uh, with some soapy water. There is some electrical connections in here so I can't submerge it without actually taking the electrical connections out, which I might do. Obviously the average user is not going to go to that much trouble. You can just wipe all these areas with a damp cloth, make sure it's thoroughly dry before reassembling. But for the average user, you don't even have to do it. I, I might just wipe it out, but I'm going to give it a thorough clean anyway. At the back, we've got the two cleaning tools. They can be cleaned in hot soapy water. You can submerge those, but this one is going to be replaced. It's been quite used. As you can see, it's got worn down. And this is okay. This is a crevice tool. It's okay. It's a little bit scratched but it's still serviceable. That can be washed in hot soapy water. But what I've done is bought a complete set of three tools. Now, I don't normally get non-genuine tools when I'm cleaning up a vacuum, but for the price of just one of these, now just this nozzle, which needs replacing, was about nine pounds for the genuine SIBO one. But for just under six pounds, I got these Qualtex accessories which includes three cleaning tools. Now, they're not going to be the same quality as the genuine SIBO ones, but they will fit. Comparing them, there is very, very little difference. It's very hard to see how different or how similar they are. I mean, they're not, They're not at all dissimilar. If you look at them, this is a genuine SIBO one. This is the Qualtex one. Really, there's not a lot to choose between them. They feel more or less the same. The genuine SIBO one has this little sort of symbol on it. But most people will be quite happy with the Qualtex one. And this is the Qualtex X, uh, crevice nozzle. Here's a genuine SIBO one. The genuine SIBO one is a slightly longer, but hopefully the Qualtex one will just fit, just fits in exactly where the old one and also so they fit in. So I'm going to supply two brand new tools. They're not the genuine ones, but they're fine. Plus, as an extra bonus, with the Qualtex set, we've got this dusting brush, which didn't come as standard with this particular SIBO, but this one looks very like the SIBO dusting brush. So, because I got all three tools for less than the price of the one, I'll throw in that, I'll give that to the owner of this vacuum. So, that's everything to show you. All the parts have been taken apart. I'm going to give these a thorough clean, and then reassemble them and fit all the new cleaning tools and the new brush roll and filters. Okay folks, I'm back with the SIBO Automatic X1 after it's had a thorough clean. Not as thorough as I may have liked, but I'm anxious to get this back to the owner. But it's still a lot cleaner and it smells a lot better than it did when I got it. So the first thing I'm going to do is replace the exhaust filter with a new one. Now you can either put it in like that or position it on the grill, but I think that's okay. Just sits in there and then the grill clips on top. So 
that's nice and white instead of all black. I've cleaned all the inside. This was the grubbiest part of the machine, as you can see. It's uh, looking a lot better. All this was absolutely caked. All the internal parts were caked in muck. Now, what can happen, and I suspect it's probably happened with this, if you go over a damp part of carpet, say a, a pet has uh, done a naughty on your carpet and you don't notice, and you vacuum over it, it's going to suck some of that moisture into this cavity here. And as you're cleaning, all the gunk will just stick to it. So it did take me quite a while to get that clean and the air path as well. I mean, it's not, you know, spotless, spotless, but believe you me, it's a lot better than it was. So, done all that, cleaned as much as I could. Um, I've just noticed some bits of fluff in the wheel there. So yes, the ceiling strip on the back is completely worn down, but you know, I didn't know at the time. I don't think it's gonna make much difference to the cleaner. So, but what will make a nice difference is a new brush roll. So I've got a genuine SIBO brush roll. Rather than just clean up the old one, I think it deserved a nice new one. It's a different color brush, but it is a genuine SIBO and it's the hard brush roll. They do a soft version as well for more delicate carpets, which is normally green, the brushes. So when you're looking for a new brush roll, I always advise buying the original SIBO parts because they are made, of course, to the same quality as the one that was fitted to the machine. You can buy cheaper um, spares, copy spares, but for me, for a few more pounds, just get the genuine one. So here it is. Um, as I say, the soft brush roll has green brushes. If you've got loop pile carpets or delicate carpets, you might be wise to invest in a soft brush roller. Although SIBO say that it will wear out a bit quicker than this nylon, the stiffer brush. But um, these last ages. My mum has a SIBO Felix, must be about 10 years old now, and it has the same brush roll in, and it doesn't look like it needs replacing. So anyway. Here we're going to pop the brush roll in and you'll notice everything I'm doing I'm not needing any tools. I did use a screwdriver just to remove this part of the base plate and in fact I did take the motor hood off just to have a look inside to see if the belt, the belt looked a little bit thinner than it should but it was still okay. The two belts, two, two toothed belts that are inside this machine if they need replacing and they shouldn't really. Uh, they are supposed to be lifetime but you know, they may need replacing. You can do that yourself. So here we have the new brush roll and just pop the end cap back on. Just push it until it clicks in position. So now we've got a nice clean air path inside and a brand new brush roll. So that will improve matters no end. So that's the first thing. Now we can pop the bag housing back on. I've cleaned that the best I can um, to clean it really thoroughly. I mean it wasn't that dirty anyway but if I was to give it a thorough clean I would have had to completely strip all the parts I could take off and then actually submerge this in water. But because it's got electrical connectors here and there's other electrical, there's an electrical cable obviously here and there's an electrical connector in here you can't submerge that in water without taking all these component parts off. So if I was completely refurbishing it, I would probably do that, but I've cleaned it the best again. It wasn't filthy dirty. It's not spotless, but it's a, a lot better than it was. So I'll just pop that back onto the head, push it down, it's clicked into position. Next thing I'm going to do is pop in the new pre-motor filter again. It's an original SIBO, so just slide that in, push it right in, there we go. And I've also got a new bag. Now I did buy these um, as genuine SIBO bags, but they don't have any SIBO branding on them. I'm pretty sure I got these from Amazon and they came in a SIBO box but the one that I took out of this machine had a sort of a quilted effect and I think that's what they have now 
But anyway, it's it's a new bag and it's going to be a lot better than the very full bag that was in the cleaner. So I'll just slot a new bag in the top. Obviously, if you've got one of these machines, you'll know how to fit a bag. So that's clicked into position. I've also got a nice lime smell because inside there I fitted one of the SIBO Fresh Lime Air Fresheners. They cost around £3. You can get, I think you get about five in there for about £3. Now they are designed to go inside the bag. They're okay, but I don't find they last very long. The fragrance, especially if you've got pets, the fragrance doesn't last very long. But when the owner of this cleaner first switches it on, she will notice a nice fresh citrus smell. So that's, that's good. So I'll pop the, the bag door on. And then I've just got to now fit the handle and the new hose. So I've got this brand new hose. Again, it's an official genuine SIBO hose. So I'll just pop that in the top of the bag housing. And then the other end of the hose, I'll pop into the wand. Pop the wand into the machine. There we go, and now just fit the handle, making sure it's in the open position at the top, and then I'll move it to the closed position. Now this could really, if I was being fussy, I would put a new handle and cable on because I do suspect that this cable has been replaced. I'm not sure, I think I was told. I don't think this is a, a SIBO cable somehow. It might be, but it looks it looks like it isn't. Um, it's rather distorted at the plug end and I can't really stretch that out. I can't really straighten it. I don't really want to try in case I damage the cable inside, but that's happened. I don't think that would have happened with a SIBO cable, but the machine works. I've tried it out. It's fine. Finally, I've got the two new tools. The only things I haven't bought that were genuine, I thought for the money I would try them out, and I'm sure the owner of this vacuum will be more than happy with these. They seem pretty good. In fact, since buying them, um, I have a SIBO C series, uh, C2 total that I bought second hand that needed three new tools and really I might just buy another of these for, for under £6 you've got the whole set and you know only the trained eye would know that these weren't genuine SIBO. So I'm going to throw in that as a bonus as well. There we go, so that's both the tools. So that's the SIBO Automatic X1 cleaned and serviced. Before I hand it back to the owner, I'll just check that it's all working as it should. I'll just vacuum a small area of carpet. Obviously I don't want to get it too dirty, but uh, there'll be a little bit of dust on this carpet I expect. this machine before I'd done anything to it with the old brush roll in the height sensor let the cleaning head go down lower and it felt um, you could hear more of a rumbling sound which meant the brushes seemed to be going deeper into the carpet with a brand new brush roll this is doing what a lot of SIBO cleaners with the automatic height control do is it feels like it's skimming the top of the carpet, which is why I'm not personally keen on the Automatic X series. I've got the X4 Pet Boost, which addresses the problem slightly, although it's a little bit awkward to have to keep pressing the boost button, which on the X4 Boost is down here, and you have to press it every time you turn the machine off because it resets itself. So when you turn the machine on again, if you want the boost, you need to press the button on the floor. 
saying that the X series has been around a long, long time, starting with the X1, this is X1.1, and of course they've got the X4 and X5 machines. But um, I'm thinking they're a bit long in the tooth now. They're good quality machines, they're well made and easy to service. But uh, come on Sibo, let's see something new in 2016, no not 2017, we are 2016 now. Hopefully Sibo might introduce something new for next year, I'm hoping they will. So thanks for watching, I hope that's been helpful. If you've got a Sibo X1.1 or an X4 that needs servicing, they're very easy to do unless it's something major. Replacing the brush, replacing the filters, replacing the hose, etc. It's all very straightforward. So that's it. If you'd like to check out my vacuum cleaner reviews, search my channel. I've um, also done demonstrations on many SIBO vacuums as well as lots of other makes as well. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.